Well, hello there, real gamers. RetroRob here, and welcome to RetroRob Plays Everything. Today, where'd my coffee go? Oh, I'm gonna have to do this without coffee. No, that's not happening. Well, hello there, real gamers. RetroRob here, and welcome to RetroRob Plays Everything. Today, we're gonna talk a little about a little about <laughs> uh, Atari acquiring in television, what that might mean. Um, those of you who have not watched this channel before, fair warning, I can take two minutes worth of material and turn it into like 15 minutes. I did it in 10 minutes! I'm proud of myself. If that's not your thing, you might want to tune out right now. If it is, though, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell whatever else they've come up with by the time you see this. Anyway, yeah, so Atari announced a couple days ago that they have purchased Intellivision. I was waiting for a little bit more information on it, and it just never came out. So I guess I'll talk about it now. Real quick, I'm going to read you some of the press release, uh, just because I don't think anybody actually did. So you can hear it from the, uh, from the Atari's mouth. Atari one of the world's most iconic consumer brands and interactive entertainment producers announced today that it has purchased the Intellivision brand and certain games from Intellivision Entertainment LLC. Intellivision Entertainment LLC will rebrand and continue its business of developing and distributing the Amico brand game console with a license from Atari to continue to distribute new versions of the Intellivision games on the Amico console. Atari will seek to expand digital and physical distribution of legacy Intellivision games, potentially create new games, and explore brand and licensing opportunities as part of a long-term plan to create value from the Intellivision properties. Let's talk a little bit about Atari. Uh, they've had a bit of an uptick. I there, There's basically two houses right now divided uh, on Atari. There's uh, some who call it like zombie Atari and crap like that. Um, I, I, I personally think those people never be happy with anything Atari does, so it doesn't matter. Um, they feel that this Atari is illegitimate. It doesn't have um, providence. It doesn't have like a, a traceable line. And uh, to that, I you know, that's, that's true. Um, but... I, I don't think Activision is any freaking better. Uh, I don't think Providence really matters. <laughs> you know, uh, Electronic Arts, it's been a bastard for the last 20 years. What, that's somehow better than Atari doing good now? I don't get it. Uh, I don't get it at all. I, you know, this is how, uh, th this is how the monarchy still survives. This kind of crap. But anyway, that's just my opinion. You're right, you have your right to your own, even though it's wrong. Hmm. Anyway, so how's Atari been doing? It's been doing pretty good, I think, uh, lately. Um, Lunar Lander Beyond, I thought, was pretty enjoyable. It was definitely not perfect. It, it, Atari's been kind of... I kind of like what they've been doing. They've been making themselves some pretty hardcore games. Their games are not necessarily easy. Uh, they don't fall under the casual category like I think they were going, like say, five, six years ago. Uh, they're more, they're a little bit more hardcore. Their games are a little bit harder, uh, and I like that. I'm glad that they've gone with that. Uh, they've had the Recharge series. Uh, that's also been hit or miss, but it's mostly been hit. I've liked it. Uh, I like the fact that Atari has stood behind the Atari VCS, even though I can't see how that's very profitable for them. Um, and I, I kind of wish this crew that's here now had been there during the initial development of the VCS. I think it would have been... A much better launch and I think people would have understood the product a lot better um, but you know I don't think people still don't understand the product and that's you know that's not a hundred percent their fault either that's on everybody but anyway that's on gaming I, I've gone into this before but that's on the gaming news media uh, and their poor coverage it's Atari and it's lack of communication at the time but anyway I am what I'm saying is Atari's on the uptick I think they're doing way better uh, and so, how's that work for in television? I think I, I don't need to really recap the Amico woes and what's been going on with in television, but I I think for them uh, they've been a mess, and it's nice to see Atari buying them. And uh, if you want to 
You want to take one video clip from it. It's like, hey, we finally won the console war! Victory! <laughs> it cost them everything. But, you know, yeah. I had my intelligent friends will love that one. I'm going to go over to Vic's house today and... <laughs> go, we won! We finally won! Anyway, it, it, it's it's fun for Atari fans, you know, but it's... I realize it's no big deal. Um, let's see what what was I going to talk about? Uh, they got 200 game rights according to them. I'm I'm having a hard time finding a list. That was one of the big reasons why this didn't come out a couple days ago. I really wanted that list of IP. Uh, it's it doesn't seem to be there. So if you've got a copy of that IP list, do me a favor, paste it, mm, paste a link to it down here, or at least message me uh, Rob at guysgamesandbeer.net. And let me get that list, because I had a hard time finding it. It's only like a 15-minute search I did, but still, usually I can find pretty much anything in 15 minutes. And for whatever reason, I couldn't find it. Uh, I am going to say that uh, Intellivision claimed to have about 350 IPs just a couple years ago, so I wonder what 150 IPs didn't make it. Uh, for you Amico fans, apparently it's going to continue to be developed separately. Um, if you want my opinion on the Amico, I... I don't see it coming out anymore, uh, to be honest. I was pretty sure it was going to come out and just, you know, be kind of like, you know, the VCS kind of, you know, like it, it, it came out. People that really like it are happy with it and people that were expecting the second coming were going to be disappointed. Uh, I, I don't think it's going to come out at this point. You know, I, I you feel free to disagree with me. I, I could be wrong, you know, I could be wrong, but I don't think it will. Um... So that's it. That's uh, that's that's that part of things. I'm, I, I think, th th I don't like to say this about Atari, but um, I, I think Intellivision is now under in adult hands, and I think that they've proven that they could probably handle uh, taking care of Intellivision in a way that Intellivision fans are going to like a little bit better. So some things I'd like to see. Hey, how about some Intellivision Plus? Eh? 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 How about that? I really like the Atari 2600 Plus. I thought it was a really great idea. You know, it runs, uh, if, you, if you're if you not familiar, it is a modern console. Uh, by modern, I mean it's like recently released console. It's basically a remake of the 2600. It's emulated. It's not 100% perfect. It doesn't run 100% of games, but it runs most of them. And uh, it's really nice looking. It's really well constructed. And it, it it's great to use. It's not like a piece of junk. I mean, this is a $120 system, I think. And it, it, it's really pretty great. And I kind of hope they do it in Television Plus. Wouldn't that be cool? I'd like that. I mean, I it, most in televisions that I, I've had, and I've got, I've only, I think I'm down to one right now, uh, have been kind of iffy, you know, on uh, their performance. So it wouldn't, like, them actually powering up and working. So it would be nice to see a modernized version of that. Yeah. Okay with that. Uh, how about some Intellivision Recharge games? Huh? Not a bad idea. Um, right now, apparently, you can buy uh, Intellivision t-shirts at Atari's site. So there you go. If you're an Intellivision fan, that's what they've done so far with it. But, you know, it's been a couple of days. Not going to judge it. Um, I'm going to I'm gonna wrap things out here uh, real quick with some things I'd like to see. Uh, I think this one's going to be impossible due to licensing, but I would love to see Advanced Dungeons & Dragons uh, to be re-released. Uh, oh, oh, hey, do you think these are going to come out on the VCS? Some of these will probably come out on the new VCS. That'd be kind of cool. Seeing some Intelligent games on there. Anyway, AD&D is the first one I wouldn't mind them doing a, like a, a, like a recharged or uh, a re-release of. Night Stalker, I think, would be a cool one to remake. Uh, lock and chase huh lock and chase uh i'm i'm dubious on the rights on that one that one's been i think that one's been bounced around a while uh and i'm not sure if that's an ip they have but i think it is anyway astro smash obviously let's do mm, astro smash recharged i know the amico people were remaking one no let's let's do a recharge let's do a full recharge on it i think that would be cool uh, another one that not a lot of people know, Space Hawk is uh, another favorite of mine on the Intellivision. I'd love to see that one as a recharged game. And then, uh, how about Vectron? Let's try Vectron because it was just so weird. Such a weird game. Um, so that's my list. 
Uh, let me know in the comments down below which Intellivision games you'd like to see, uh, either on the uh, the new VCS or as a recharged game. I think that's a genius idea. Any other thoughts too? Let me know. Anything I missed? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, so all in all, um, I think that Atari acquiring Intellivision is a good idea. I think this is going to turn out well uh, for both companies. Hey, Atari, maybe you should buy ColecoVision next. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, give me a thumbs up, subscribe for more, ring that bell, and I'll see you in a couple days. Bye. I'll try almost anything.